If you haven't heard of Coltic yet, then good, because I'm stoked to tell you about it. Developed by Jazz Oz Games and set to be published by 3D Realms, Coltic is a throwback, retro, old school, boomer, whatever you want to call it, first person shooter positioning itself as a spiritual successor to the 97 cult classic, Blood. Coltic was announced during Realms Deep 2021, and a strong demo for it was featured in the 2021 Next Fest following it. And now, in time for the summer installment of Next Fest 2022, Coltic is back with an updated demo, and I was lucky enough to get my hands on it a wee bit early. So today I'll be giving you my first impressions of this spooky retro rampage. And what I can say so far is that while this title is already a beautiful excuse to say, I live again, it appears there's a little more to cultic than just the nostalgia. As I mentioned, Coltic is essentially a spiritual successor to Blood, taking heavy influence from Monolith's legendary shooter. The first thing that will jump out to Blood fans, besides the gothic horror themes and graphical style, are the black and tan cultist enemies, who yes, are ridiculously good shots. Not quite as brutal as Blood's cultists, but let's just say you'd be wise to turn Always Run on. Second, they'll appreciate some of the throwbacks to Blood's iconic weaponry, the double barrel shotgun, and of course, dynamite bundles. Oh yeah, the spirit of Caleb is definitely present. However, Coltic's general atmosphere, I feel, draws more from classic survival horror. Alone in the Dark, Resident Evil, and absolutely Silent Hill. There's an interesting vibe to this game in that you have the bombastic action of an old school shooter with slow-mo head pops galore mixed with a setting that gives off a moody, unnerving, outright dirty feel that's more akin to survival horror. In fact, I'll admit, there's an area towards the end of the demo that made me a little nervous. Spookier than I expected, let's just say that. The graphics are their own bag of nostalgic fun. Indeed, the visuals do read like they were built in the build engine, the tech that powered blood, complete with an impressive array of voxels, many of which are quite grim and drippy. Ew. However, with Coltic, Jazz Oz is going for a more double-baked, extra crispy approach with the visuals. With an ultra-compressed color palette, a thick layer of dithering and staticky audio to complement. <laughs> For me, the visuals bring to mind the handheld gaming systems of the 90s and early 2000s, specifically the Game Boy family, and more specifically, games ported to the Game Boy family whose downgraded visuals had that crispy, low-color look. As if the idea behind Coltic was, what would blood look like if it was ported to the Game Boy? I think it's such a cool look. It authentically reads like an old school shooter, but it is also taking an approach unlike other retro throwbacks. It's also worth mentioning that the visuals have seen a lot of improvement over the last demo. The cultist enemy sprites have been redesigned and sport more detail, and it appears the weapon sprites have been touched up as well. Not to mention the many visual touch-ups to the environment, in particular the greater emphasis on lighting. Crossing my fingers, the rest of this game looks as strong as this opening level. Unfortunately, I can imagine not everybody is going to love this look, and I should mention you do have the option to turn off color compression and dithering to get a cleaner image. Technically, the level featured is the same as in previous demos. However, not only has there been a big visual improvement, there's been numerous tweaks to the layout and some areas have been completely redesigned. And I would say that the hard work shows. The level feels tight and the combat encounters are fun. And on top of that, there are some alternate paths in which the player can explore and maybe find some advantages. Shooting already feels strong, and enemy damage reactions are sinfully satisfying. In fact, let's see one more slow-mo head pop. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. I'm a little concerned some of the weapon sprites might be too big, but I can't say it bothered me a whole lot. Might be a good idea to provide an option to adjust their size and position though. One thing I dug was discovering some of the combat tricks. For example, thrown enemy axes can be shot out of the air. And if you time it right, you can jump kick a cultist's head clean off. Oh hey, I can see my legs! 
Neat. Your first time through this demo, you'll likely come across the pistol, sten, and shotgun. All of them feel deliciously powerful, especially the shotgun, which yes, like Bloods, can shoot each barrel individually or both at the same time as an alternate fire. <laughs> The game will feature a weapons upgrade desk where you can improve things like damage and fire rates, but you can also obtain the alternate fires for the other weapons. Not all of them are accessible right off the bat. An awesome thing too is that if you're thorough with your secret hunting, and let me tell you, the secrets in this level are numerous and well hidden, you can obtain more of the arsenal. A lever action rifle with the kind of accuracy that gave me goosebumps, as well as a pump action grenade launcher. Magical. Dynamite bundles feel like an evolution over Bloods. Standard fire actually throws the bundle out unlit. The idea being the player can just shoot it to detonate, and in fact there's a quick dynamite key that throws out an unlit bundle immediately. Although careful, the enemies can kick them back. Ow! Your alternate fire is what lights the bundle, and unlike Blood, which threw its bundle out in an arc, something that took a little bit to get a feel for, here the throw is a lot more direct, making it easier for players to get the hang of it. Oh, and you can throw them in clusters. In this demo, I got the impression this is going to be a game where players are going to have some opportunities for unusual strategies and, well, good old fashioned silliness. For example, in this demo, you can pick up most objects not nailed down to the floor and chuck them at super fast speeds. Chairs, bottles, barrels, eyeballs, you get the idea. And at one point, after smashing up a toilet, because why not, I was able to pick up the detached toilet seat, to which I naturally went, oh, I have to kill someone with this. And I did. Several times even. It was hilarious. Oh, and I did kill someone with an eyeball too. Also, am I able to flush entrails down the toilet? Because it kind of looks like I'm able to flush entrails down the toilet. So, going into the early access and subsequent full release, are players going to have greater opportunities to take advantage of their surroundings like this? Are there more secret techniques and tricks to discover? Mayhap there be some achievements encouraging it? Huh, I'm excited to find out. Last thing to mention is that the demo also includes a survival mode, which was actually introduced in the Halloween update of the first demo. Featuring only one level so far, in survival you take on wave after wave of enemies, killing to rack up high combos and in between waves, purchase new weapons. Yeah, it's about what you'd expect, but it is fun, and so far gives us a sneak peek at some of the other enemy types, like skeletons and knights in armor. Perhaps this game is going in a more medieval direction. If so, you best be giving me a metal glove and some fair maidens to give me sugar. I got nothing but excitement for Coltic, and I could not get enough of this demo. Will Coltic be the blood follow-up we always deserved? Perhaps the beginning of something more special? We won't know until we get the full version in our hands, but if you ask me, things are looking very positive. Now, at the time of uploading this video, there is still no release date for Cultic other than coming soon. But if it is announced during Next Fest, I will have it down in the description. All right, that's enough of me. Let me know down in the comments your thoughts on Cultic, and tell me about some of your favorite demos you played during Next Fest. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications on future uploads. It's a couple clicks for you and a massive help for this channel. And don't be shy, come say hi in the Kirk Collects Discord linked below. I'm Kirk and thank you for watching this video. Stay safe out there.